Hello everybody, George Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this pretty card. Well, I'm going to show you how I made a card, um, how I'm going to make a card similar to this. With this one I stuck the flower up on, cut it out and stuck it up on um, dimensionals, which meant I couldn't get this in. So what I'm going to do this time is stamp the flower down flat and then stamp the sentiment at the bottom of this uh, ornate layer rather than have it hide in the bottom throw. You know what I mean when I tell you. So, to make this card I am using so much love and I'm going to be using the smaller flower. That one. I'm using the sentiment from Peaceful Moments. Life is better with a friend like you. I've also used, not them ones, this one, the ornate layer dies and I'm using the second rectangle die which I've already cut out so I can put this away. And that is here. And I've got a white card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eight, folded in half. I have got a piece of oh, what's the new yellow called? Bumblebee. Bumblebee. God, I can't remember. Never used it. That's why. in colours. Bumblebee, that's all it's called. So I have some of that. Then I have a piece of DSP from last year's, oh, the last celebration, it was the free paper, and I'm using the plainer side on the back, as I have nothing that actually goes with Bumblebee, but I thought this goes, goes quite well. Well, I think so anyway. And then this will go on top like that. So, let's all stick these down. And we can say it's done. Sorry, this is 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. And this is 5 and 3 eighths by 3 and 5 eighths. Confusing you all with using different sizes from what I normally use. And I usually tell you about putting a piece inside. Well, I kind of got carried away and stuck it already inside. So I have got a piece inside. Right, keep that to one side, put my lid on my glue and bring this over. Right, with my flower and Memento Black ink, ink up the flower. And we're going to place it as high as we can without going into the holes. So fine. And our sentiment. Life is better with a friend like you. And we're gonna pop that just down there and pray that it's straight. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's a little tiny bit up that end than it is that end, but that's all right. It's handmade. Right, I'm going to colour these in. So with Old Olive, I'm going to colour the leaves in. our green leaves and we just do the stems of the flowers. Right then, with the dark, that's not daffodil delight. Oh. This is dark daffodil delight. And the brush end, and all I'm doing is going around the top of the flowers. Not straight. And then where there's folds, I'm colouring in the folds. This is picking up some of the thick stamp ink from the black. the edge is done. Then we sew saffron. I know it's a weird colour to add to it but And then we'll do the buds in. So, so is this light or dark? Light. And then with 
light Cajun craze, we're just going to dot all down the middle. But it stays on. Right, I'm just going to blend that in a bit more with the bullet end. And there we have our lovely colour flower, which will just stick. In fact, we'll put this up on dimensionals on there. That's just what we'll do. Too many dimensionals for shouting. sure it's the right way around and pop it down and now we just have to add some gold gems so I'm going to put one there one there and I can actually get one down there on the other one I couldn't One, two, put one on my thumb, three. So that is our card for today. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you could you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Please let me know if you like it flat like this, or with the flower cutter and the sentiment on dimensionals. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.